Proteus includes the ability to import schematics using the EDIV2 file format, commonly exported with older ORCAD products. Specifically, it was designed for and tested with ORCAD version 9.2 and 17.2's schematic export. The import process has three main stages. First, the EDIV file is loaded and parsed. The import log will list all the recognized objects and sheets that will be imported and will produce an error if unsupported entities are found in the EDIV file. Next, once the parse is complete, the data set can be imported to Proteus. This will create and draw a new schematic automatically according to the parsed information from the EDIV file. Finally, what happens next is extremely important. Proteus generates a netlist from the newly imported schematic and compares it to the netlist inside the EDIV file. The import log changes to list any differences in connectivity between the two netlists. If there are errors or warnings from the import, you can make changes to the schematic and the log will update as you make corrections. Most often this happens with power nets as the default situation in Proteus is to have global power nets, whereas the incoming data might have sheet local power nets. At the end of the editing process, you should see that the connectivity in Proteus matches the connectivity in the imported data. This confirms that the import process is complete and PCB layout can commence.